Hello all health classes. I just made this video so that we could all be on the same page about the work that is due for health and how to be successful at completing it and understanding it. So here is my Google Classroom page with all of my separate classes. Um, and I'm gonna go to one class just to demonstrate what you should do. This is the stream. And this is where the Google Meet link is where you can click on if you're 100% remote or if you're sick that day and you want to join class. So you just need to come to class at the exact time that we have class on your schedule and then we will all be right there and you can keep your mic and your video off. You don't have to have it on for class. You can just sit and watch. Um, if you look at the stream, there are some announcement that, announcements that I post that are important to look at. Like um, this Friday, the photo journals are due for the high school health classes. Um, and then if you go to the classwork section, all of the assignments and the material and everything are broken down by week. So if you start all the way at the bottom, this is week one. And if you look to see, there's two different icons that I use. The one with the clipboard and the lines um, going horizontally is an assignment. And this um, rectangle with the ribbon, those are materials. You need to still read every single post and what is inside of it. So this one doesn't have any instructions. This was the first day attendance form. You just had to click on the form and do it. But if you go up here to um, like week two, there are more instructions on what to do with these slides. And then if you go up to week three, um, this is a goal setting assignment that kids had to do at home and there are four parts to it. So if you just look to see that it's an assignment and you just look to see what you have to do, you're gonna be confused. You have to actually click on the assignment, read the directions, go through the slides, fill out the notes, then do the assignment. And then there's also a video that I post going through everything for you step by step, okay? Um, and then uh, the other thing that I wanna go over is for example, I usually do slides and notes so that the kids can use um, notes on their quizzes and tests, okay? So what you do is you have to go through, but I don't grade the notes. So if you look at like, for example, this is week five. Some of you haven't had week five class yet because you have class tomorrow and Friday, but this week five assignment, it's an assignment because it has the little clipboard and the lines it's slides and notes but and you can see that it's due for monday tuesday people it's due tonight by midnight um, but if you view the assignment there's a due date here but there's no points over here on the left so that means that i'm not grading it i'm just having you fill in the notes so that you can use all of your notes on quizzes and tests and if you go back to the classwork tab I show this to you in a separate video as well. You can click on your class drive folder right here in the top right hand corner and then it'll pull up all of the notes that you've done. Okay, so they don't just like disappear once you do them. Um, and the other thing that I want to show you is usually for the most part when there is not usually always when there's something that's graded and you click on it like all exit tickets are graded so we can go to the um, for week four, there are slides and notes from class that you have to do for media literacy. Then there's a graded exit ticket. And when you go to view the assignment and instructions, you can see right here on the left, it says 30 points and then it says when it's due, okay? Um, and then if you go back to <clears throat> week four, there's a video of me explaining all of that in case you weren't there or have questions. And then in between week four and week five, you have a homework assignment, which is right here, week four homework, which is um, a set of slides and notes to do for causes of death. And again, the notes are not um, graded. You just have to do them so that you can use them for the quiz or the test. And then right here is the exit ticket that you do after you read through the slides and fill out the notes. So here's your graded exit ticket for that, okay? So the thing is, if you go back to your classes here, you go back to all your classes, you can click on this to-do list right here in the top left-hand corner. 
But the only thing the to-do list shows you is exactly what you're missing. It doesn't give you any instructions, it doesn't give you any materials, and it doesn't tell you how to do the assignments. So then um, teachers get a lot of emails when kids just go to the to-do list and they say, what am I supposed to do? And it's because you have to go back into the class, into the classwork section, and then into the week that you're in and click on the assignment so that you can look at the instructions. Okay, so if you have any questions, let me know. I'm more than happy to help you and go through this with you one-on-one -on -one in a Google Meet. Um, I hope that helped.